What makes a cache successful? In today's cache, I think it's not only the location, but the theme of the cache and the cache page. The cache we're looking for today is at the West Virginia Welcome Center. We've just crossed the Potomac River and we're about one mile into the state of West Virginia. Sometimes convenience can be a factor. Here I just got out of the car and it says the cache I'm looking for is only 139 feet away. So it's right up that direction. Here we are about 10 feet away. The name of the cache is Evolution of the Rest Stop. And here's where I think not only location, but the cache page plays a big part. And this cache page talks about the evolution of the rest stop or the evolution of the outhouse. As I look at this outhouse, it's sure not hard to find. But here, I think the cache page adds a lot of value to this geocache because the cache page talks about the history of this half moon. Why is this half moon here? And there's a couple theories, and the cache page discusses that. So, let's take a peek inside our outhouse. You know it's a geocache, because it says, I love geocaching. Of course, we got a tattoo that says, Mom. And you probably can't see it from over there, but this thing in his hand on the back side, so that the cashier can see, it says GPS. Got a pair of jeans on. It's got an extra roll of toilet paper. But now, where's the cache? Where's the log? We know this is the geocache. Now, where's the log? Let's lift up the toilet paper. There we go. So we lift up the toilet paper that's been handled many hundreds of times. Here's the log. Log goes right back in here, closes over. So why is this cache so favored? Why do so many people like it? I don't think there's really one answer, but I think it's a couple. One, it's close. Uh, you can, you know, it's only 150 feet from your car. It's at a rest stop, so it gets a lot of stops. But because it's at a rest stop, it also is almost a theme cache because it's an outhouse at a rest stop, and the cache page talks about the evolution of the uh, <laughs> of the outhouse. So because of its theme, its cache page, and then when you open it up, it's just got to give you a grin. I think all those reasons make this a very favored geocache. Now, how can I build one of those? This is normally the segment of my YouTube videos where I go into a lot of explanation telling you how to build it. This one's simple, but there's only one key, I think, to make it really look good, and that's the scale of this man. I think you have to start with your person, and I, of course I tried to take the high road and use a man and not a lady. Uh, I would start with your person and then make sure when he's sitting here on the pot that his feet are either touching or almost touching the floor. So I actually believe the scale is the most important thing here. Then, of course, I just looked at the um, internet and I saw that most outhouses have doors shaped this way, unlike the Bluebird house. Uh, the other thing is I found real old barn wood. In fact, this black right here you'll see uh, I painted because this was a saw cut and so it kind of cleaned it up. Uh, and then, of course, I cut a half moon, but over my half moon door, I have a piece of plexiglass so that the birds don't move in on the old guy. So, pretty simple to build. So, thanks for visiting. This is um, Gadget Caches, and I try to post one of my videos of um, one of my caches uh, every week or so. So, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Hope you like it. Thanks for visiting Evolution of the Rest Stop.